external nuclear inheritance. Okay, today we will learn about a different type of inheritance. So we know uh, Mendelian inheritance, we know different uh, modes of uh, different kinds of uh, dominancy. We know sex limited, sex uh, depend, uh, sex limited uh, inheritance, extinct inheritance, etc., etc. We know uh, different kinds of inheritance. Now, today we will learn uh, a different parameter which we have to add on Mendelian laws. That's extra nuclear inheritance. The genes that we have investigated so far, the genes we have been working on so far were all on the chromosomes, on the uh, nuclear DNA, nuclear genomic DNA. So what happens if the gene is on mitochondrial DNA or chloroplast DNA? Today we will learn that. Organelle heredity involves DNA in chloroplast and mitochondria. First of all, actually, before going to there, I would like to or let's go. Uh, I'm not sure if. Okay, let's go. Okay, it exists here. Uh, organelle, in, organelle heredity involves DNA in chloroplast and mitochondria. So, organelle heredity is first kind of extra nuclear inheritance. Uh, then, there are also other types of extra nuclear inheritance. So let's learn their names first. Extra nuclear inheritance. There are three types. There are three types of extra nuclear inheritance. The first type is organelle inheritance. Organelle inheritance, two maternal effects, and three uh, infectious inheritance. Okay, so there are three kinds of. Uh, extra nuclear inheritance, those are organ organellar inheritance, maternal effect, and infectious inheritance. There's a question, Mehmet Izmirli, is that only mitochondria or is there more? Uh, Mehmet Izmirli, there is also chloroplast. Two organelles are in involved in inheritance. Those are mitochondria and chloroplast. Let's write down it here. Thank you for the question. Okay. In human, of course, only mitochondria uh, but in plants the chloroplast inheritance can be uh, in her important as well so please learn this uh, as soon as possible the first type is organellar inheritance organelle heredity which involves dna in chloroplasts and mitochondria as you will remember uh, there are two organelles which has its own dna those are mitochondria in all eukaryotes and chloroplasts in plants. Some of our observations indicate an apparent extra nuclear influence on the phenotype. So even though uh, we can see some inherited, inherited patterns, we cannot explain that with Mendelian laws or uh, with 
any other parameters that we can apply to the genomic inheritance. With discovery of DNA in mitochondria and chloroplast, extranuclear inheritance is now recognized as important aspect in genetics. One variety of extranuclear inheritance is organelle heredity, which is DNA contained in mitochondria and chloroplasts. So mitochondria and chloroplasts. These are two special organelles. What makes these uh, special is their uh, genomes. Another question, chromosomal mutations, variation in number and arrangement. Yes, when we say chromosomal mutation, when we say chromosomal mutation, that means the mutations at chromosome level. Uh, the mutation mutations except for mutations except for uh, the point mutations. Uh, so the first type of extranuclear inheritance is organelle heredity, and it's dependent on the DNA contained in mitochondria and chloroplasts. They determine certain phenotypic characteristics of the offspring. A second type involves, involves infections, infectious, heteros, uh, infectious her heredity, and that results from symbiotic or parasitic association with a microorganism. So if you are infected by a microorganism, especially it's very common, unfortunately, in these days to be infected by a virus, coronavirus, for example, uh, viral infections or other parasitic infections uh, are counted in this uh, class. Uh, that's infectious heredity. The third type is maternal effect on the phenotype. In the maternal effect, nuclear gene products are stored in the egg and then transmitted through the ooplasm to offspring. We are going to see the details of this. These gene, the gene products in the oval, ovum are distributed to the cells of the developing embryo and influence its phenotype. Now, there is something I have to explain here. Maternal effect. What does it mean? Now, after meiosis, after, or, after meiosis, the female, female cell goes to oogenesis and it, produ it uh, produces ovum, one cell which is produced by mother. So whose DNA is there in the ovum? Of course, there is only mother's DNA. That's only the mother's DNA. So uh, the genes expressed in the ovum, in the genes expressed in the oocyte, uh, produce messenger RNAs and proteins. Those proteins and RNAs, those protein and RNA molecules are already produced before fertilization. So they are produced and accumulated in the oocyte and they affect the development of embryo. Uh, so this is maternal effect. Inheritance of, <coughs> pardon, chloroplasts, Chloroplast and mitochondrial traits uh, is often determined by phenotype of oval source. That's another important point you have to notice. We acquire our mitochondria only from our mothers. We don't have, we don't get any mitochondria from our fathers, even though sperms have a lot of mitochondria they do not give them to the zygote. Analysis of inheritance, inheritance patterns resulting from mutant alleles in chloroplasts and mitochondria has been difficult because the function of these organelles is dependent on gene product from nucleus and organelle DNA, making the origin of mutations affecting organelle functions difficult. And organelles are contributed to each progeny cell 
and exhibits great variation, which is called heteroplasmy, making detection of mutation and analysis of more com complicated Mendelian inheritance. Now, there is something in important here, uh, which you have to notice again. Uh, even though the mitochondria, even though the mitochondria carries its own DNA, its own genome, the mitochondrial genome doesn't include all the genes necessary for mitochondrial functions. So in mitochondria, there are a lot of proteins and only a few of them are encoded in mitochondrial DNA. Most of them are encoded in nuclear genes and those are important to, imported to the mitochondria. Their products are imported to the mitochondria after synthesized after uh, they are synthesized in the cytoplasm. Now, uh, there are genes in the mitochondria, there are ribosomes, and there is transcription and translation systems in the mitochondria, even though mitochondria can uh, produce their own proteins, they have to still import most of their proteins from cytoplasm. And proteins produced in the cytoplasm are encoded in the nuclear genome. So, uh, even though it, uh, there is, even if there is a phenotype caused by uh, differences in mitochondrial functions, we cannot connect those phenotypic uh, expressions directly with, with mitochondrial genes. Some of them can be affected, but some of them can be still affected by the genes in the nucleus. All right. The thing we have to notice here, another thing we have to notice here is the most important rule. We receive mitochondrial DNA only from the mother. Only mother's DNA is copied to the uh, mitochondria of offspring. That's one. There is another thing, heteroplasm. The mitochondria or chloroplasts in one organism's whole body can be different in terms of DNA. So some mitochondria in the same cell may be different than the others because some of the mitochondria can carry different mutations. Uh, there's a question. Some people can take mitochondria from father. I don't know that Mohammed Nurullah. I'm not sure about that. There is an example here, uh, which we can see directly with our eyes. Uh, in this plant, In this uh, plant, you can see white leaves and green leaves and variegated leaves, variegated, variegated uh, leaves. Now, color of uh, leaf are directly caused by chloroplast and its inheritance is dependent on uh, which flower was pollinated and which flower is the uh, source of ovum, ovum. Now, look at source of pollen, which means the male, male reproductive cell and location of oval. Oval is oocyte, which means the uh, female reproductive cell. If Location of oval is white. If it's on the white branch, then the plants will have white leaves. It doesn't matter what color the source of pollen is. It can be white branch, green branch, or variated branch. If location of oval is a green branch, then uh, the offspring are all green. And if location of oval Location of oval is variegated, variegated, 
anything, uh, all three kinds of phenotype, all three kinds of phenotype can be seen. I the same thing can be seen in chromoplast chromoplasts as well. So chromoplasts are uh, other organelles uh, seen in the plants. So these different colors of uh, evening promise uh, plants can be caused by chromoplasts.